आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आया न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ ए नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आया न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यूर ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे It was on 11 February 1856 that the Kingdom of Awadh was annexed by the British. By 1856, except Awadh, all major kingdoms of India were annexed by the British East India Company. The British wanted to annex the Kingdom of Awadh but couldn't find a reason to attack. In the words of Governor General Dalhousie, Awadh is a cherry that will drop into our mouth one day. The last nawab of Awadh, Wajid Ali Shah, was a capable ruler, but the British residents gave exaggerated reports about his incompetence to the company authorities. This gave the East India Company a reason to conquer Awadh. Hence, on 7th February 1856, Lord Dalhousie ordered to depose Wajid Ali Shah on the account of alleged internal misrule. जब छोड़ चले लखनऊ नगरी कहे हाल के हम पर क्या गुजरी जब छोड़ चले लखनऊ नगरी डल हाउजी थ्रू अवे ऑल द मॉडल कोड्स एंड ऑन इलेवन फेबर एटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स द किंगडम ऑफ अवध वॉज फाइनली एनेक्सड द लॉस ऑफ अवध ओनली एडेड टू द एग्जिस्टिंग टेंशन बिट इन द ब्रिटिश एंड द पीपल The simmering resentment finally culminated into the revolt of 1857. On 11 February, Mahatma Gandhi's famous newspaper Harijan was launched in 1933. The paper was published weekly to promote the fight against untouchability. and to liberate those who were discriminated against it helped generate consciousness about the sufferings caused by the practice of untouchability the articles were written either by gandhi ji himself or by his associate charles priya andrews rabindranath tagore provided poems on untouchability for most of the editions of the paper the paper was also published in hindi and gujarati and it continued to be printed until 1948 We also remember the freedom fighter and former president of India, Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed, who died on 11 February 1977. Born in 1905 in Delhi, Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed was son of an army doctor from Assam. Ahmed joined the Indian National Congress when he met Jawaharlal Nehru in 1925 and jumped into the freedom struggle. In 1942, he participated actively in the Quit India movement, for which he was arrested. and sentenced to 3 and a half years of imprisonment After independence Fakhruddin was elected to the Rajya Sabha in 1952 and thereafter became advocate general of the government of Assam He was also elected to the Assam Legislative Assembly for two terms He was twice elected to Lok Sabha first in 1967 and again in 1971 As a cabinet minister he held diverse portfolios relating to food and agriculture cooperation education industrial development and company laws Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed served as the fifth president of India from 1974 till his death on 11 February 1977 when he collapsed in his office AI News pays tribute to the nationalist That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.